This week on The Corner, I'm going to take my Tronxy XY2 Pro and convert it to a dual Z-axis. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my corner. It's me, Jeff here. And what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to look at adding an extra lead screw to a Z-axis on one of these bed slinger machines. I have a few of them. Um, my Prusa MK3S and my Chiron both have dual Z axes, but my Voxlab and my Tronxys do not. So I bought a Creality upgrade kit off of uh, Amazon. I'm going to do an unbox and then we're going to install it. Okay, so I ordered this um, Hiccup Ender 3 dual Z access kit from Amazon. And let's open it up and have a look here. It seems to be nicely packaged. Let's flip this around here real quick. It gives us the extruder motor that we're going to be needing. Um, got a couple of Z-axis braces. Oh, and... I can pull this out here we have a z-rod now the z-rod that comes with it is a longer one it is let me see if i find a ruler here real quick it is um three three fifty millimeters so it should work for your ender. Uh, I'm going to put this on a Tronxy. I'm thinking the, it should be pretty good for that. We'll go through it in a second. Comes with a QR code for an instruction video. Which is nice to have. A hardware kit. Uh, whoopsie. Uh, I'm not sure what this piece is. It looks like it's uh, a brace or a mount of something. It comes with a, um, a Z-axis Y wire. Let me open that up and show you guys. And it comes with some Allen keys, a coupler, and a wrench. But yeah, so it's a Z-axis Z-axis. Now, uh, Y coupler. And it comes with some powder coated feel steel plates. And that looks like it's it. So, we have Z access, two brackets, some tools. The two plates, hardware kit, coupler, random thing that I still don't know what it's for, stepping motor, and wrench. Okay, so I showed you the unboxing and all the pieces. I have some of the pieces here. So the plan is basically what we need to do is we need to use this plate and attach it to here. So to, in order to do that, and whenever you get these, just double check and make sure that they line up with the holes where they're supposed to be. Um, or what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to replace the uh, screws that are in with the, um, the longer screws that come with the kit. So we're going to remove this screw add this add two screws and then this side here is going to be a little bit And then we should be able to just slide this 
out just like that yeah. so let's just get rid of this and a pair of flux You should almost be able to take this completely off now. So we're just going to remove both wheels. Um, and then what we'll have to end up doing is, so you'll simply take your new plate, one of your longer screws, a spacer, a wheel, another spacer, and your lock nut on the opposite side just like that all right uh -huh. all i'm going to do is we are going to There we go. And loosely. There we go. Right. We're going to go spacer, wheel, spacer, and nut. And then secure. Make sure you take your time and adjust your eccentric nut. If you can, you'll have to move these screws out of here. Okay. So right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just tighten. This basically, you're going to secure this to the stepper motor, just like that. And then we're just going to place these vertically and put them in the channels. And our friend is good to us. It should be secure. Coupler next. Now there's a narrow side and a bigger side. The lead screw goes in the big side. The stepper motor goes in the smaller side. And there's a lip that your stepper, your, your screw rod will sit in. So you don't want to take your stepper motor past that lip. I'll have to find my lubricant to lubricate this. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. So I do want to show you the coupling. In order to get those 10 millimeters out of it, you got to be really, really fair with that, okay? So I wanted to talk to you guys for a second about the wiring of that Y connector. It's a very tight fit, but it's manageable. What you need to do is run it through where the heat bed wires come in, right here, and then run it directly over to your stepper, okay? Once you've done that, the inside you have to route. I found the best way to do it is out the fan hole here. And then you should just, 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 just have enough to hook it up to your other stepper on the other side, okay? So that's basically how I wired this in, and it seems to work. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I actually filmed this, did this before, but I didn't film it, so... You want to make sure your gantry is level on both sides. So you can grab anything. And then what you want to do is just raise up your gantry. And just make sure you see how this is not flush. So you want to raise this side too. So then your level here. And your level here. So let's try our maiden voyage here. Motion. Uh, move axis. Let's actually, let's just go uh, Z. Uh, 10 mils. And it seems like we're uh, good to go. So yeah guys, so running my test print now. Got the two lead screws in as you can see. And uh, running a vase. Um, just seeing if there's anything going on. Going up the Z-axis here, it looks pretty good. Um, and other than that, this was uh, a really fun build. A couple things that you might have to um, deal with in the future would be um, you might have to adjust your V-refs if you don't have quite enough power, if you're skipping steps or whatnot. Um, I had to turn this stepper motor down here um, towards the inside. In order to get the uh, wiring running properly, I had to leave a little gap underneath, about a 5 mil. And um, yeah, that was about it. So I'm going to see what the print qualities are like on with the dual Zs, but I'm going to um, replace the hot end uh, with a direct drive at some point in time. So that will also help me too. So I guess that pretty much sums up this build for this week. Um, if you're cruising through the channel and you uh, haven't subscribed, please do. That would help me out. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, um, and uh, I'll leave a link for the uh, kit down below. Uh, it's an affiliate link, so if you want to interested in purchasing this, please do. By all means, use my link. And uh, until next time, guys, see ya.